U.S. military bases are preparing to house thousands of Afghan refugees who are fleeing from the Taliban, and they're going to be used in Texas, too. This comes as border communities are already dealing, as you know, with the record number of migrants. Here to discuss, we've got Navy vet and Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so the estimates are as high as 80,000 people need to get out of Afghanistan. It could be 30, 000, at least 30,000 Afghanis who worked with us. They can't stay there because of the worry of retribution. Do you think that this deadline that the administration has of uh, August 31st needs to be changed? Because if we don't have everybody out by then, then what happens? Yeah, the administration has absolutely uh, created a debacle on this Afghan withdrawal, and they need to be held accountable for it. And they have to change course now because the world is watching. You know, our our legal immigration system was built to uh, take on board political refugees, which is in many cases is what's happening in Afghanistan. It's not built to take the one point three three million illegal aliens that is happening. I'll also add, you know, I served five years in Afghanistan and to my brothers and sisters that served in Afghanistan and to the Gold Star families, we honor them and we thank them for keeping our shores safe for two decades. We can't lose sight of that. You don't hear that enough from the administration, thanking the, right. the men and women that, that sacrificed so much to keep our country safe. But to the immigration situation, we have to uh, defend our allies. Congressman, I know that you, uh you enlisted in the Navy when you were 18 years old. You served for 20 years and you retired from the Navy. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I know you spent time in Afghanistan, Iraq and Asia as well. You collected surveillance on the Taliban for two decades. I want to hear about that, what you learned about the Taliban. And also, I know you've been in contact with some of the interpreters that are there. Tell us their stories as well. Yeah, the Taliban are a brutal regime, and they, uh, they, that's how they govern, and that's exactly how they will govern. Um, and, you know, I was there at the very beginning from 2001 to 2006, and one of the things in particular, you know, that I look back on now is uh, Mullah Berater. You know, it was, it was a, an individual that we actively targeted, and unfortunately, we weren't able to, 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 uh, to kill or capture him, and now you're seeing him lead the Taliban. I think back and I go, if we were able to accomplish that mission, how would that change? history. As far as the interpreters, yes, it is very frustrating. Um, we've got several open cases where you've got uh, Afghans that have fought alongside us for decades that are that are uh, just fighting to survive. And we're doing everything we possibly can to get them in safe uh, in safe areas, whether that's in America or elsewhere. We deserve that to our allies. I go back to it. The world is watching. I just got back from Ukraine, from a Kodel in Ukraine. They're concerned about Russian aggression. Where's America going to be when Russia invades Ukraine again? I got back from South Korea about three weeks ago. Same thing. They're worried about what's going to happen when China invades Taiwan. Right. Don't worry. The vice president's going over to Vietnam now uh, to reassure them that we are going to uh, have their back. And then she's going to go over to Singapore. Great optics there. Uh, Saigon and uh, Kabul. Fantastic. So if I was to put you, uh, Tony, in charge, Congressman, in charge of this operation to open up the arteries, knowing how diminished we are as a force and how little uh, ba we have no more bases there. How do we do it? If the Taliban say I'm not letting Americans come from outside Kabul, to Kabul to get out. What do we do? Number one, every American, every American needs to return home. Uh, and we have to ensure that every American, whether you're a correspondent, whether you work for an NGO, whether you work for the government, doesn't matter. If you are a United States American, you deserve to come home. That's one. Two, our, uh, two is our allies. Our allies, we cannot leave our allies on the battlefield because, I, I, again, the mm -hmm. world is watching. Right. Now's the time. Look, the Biden administration, huge debacle, but you got to change course. You can't double down on a losing hand. You have to change course, and they have to do it now because Russia and China are waiting in the wings to take advantage of this political uh, debacle that, that the Biden administration has created. All right. Let's see what happens today. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.